Hello, welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. It didn't even occur to me about the skin, so I'm so glad that this commenter mentioned it. So let's talk about a couple of ways you can get the skin off of this apple. And yes, I'm sure there are a million ways. So one of them would be to just use a vegetable peeler, I would imagine. Yeah, you could just peel the skin off the apple. You're going to get a nice thin slice there. The only challenge, obviously, is going to be now you're going to have to handle it without its skin on it, but that's fine. An option would be, let's use our same cutting technique that we did in this video that the commenter is commenting on. So we're cutting it in half, in half, in half again, in half again, like we did on our video. And we're cutting out that central piece. Hope you can see, let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. We're cutting out that central piece. So this is normally how I do them, right? And I know, you're saying, but the skin is still on. Don't worry, give me a second. We could go in with our handy dandy paring knife and we could go around and take the skin off. Now in this application, just like with potatoes, you're gonna get more of the flesh. I mean, obviously the more skilled you are with a small paring knife, the less. Um, but in this situation, you're definitely gonna take off more flesh. <laughs> Somebody wanted to try one without the skin on. What do you think? <laughs> now, obviously this commenter has dietary restrictions, but you know, the skin is full of lots of fiber and vitamins and nutrients. So if you don't have that restriction, I recommend you leave the skin on. But if you're making like apple pie or something, taking the skin off may be a very valuable asset. Now this is gonna be almost impossible to peel like with the peeler in slices, um, certainly more challenging. So I would peel it before slicing it. You can see it can be done though. But I think the paring knife would be easier after you had cut it into, well, it's going pretty well actually on the pieces. Just watch your fingers. This seems a little bit more like I might catch my fingers. So I think the peeler is probably the best um, to get the thinnest because you can see like it leaves almost no flesh behind the peeler where my paring knife did not do as good a job. Uh, so I hope that helps you. Uh, I would probably peel it whole and then cut it up, but you could also peel it after you sliced it. <laughs> Somebody wants that apple.